guys, it's Kate. Today I am back with my August Disney haul. I've really been enjoying doing these monthly Disney videos because, as I'm sure you guys have caught on by now, I love Disney merchandise and sometimes it can get a little overwhelming to do a haul or a show every single time I go shopping. Plus, I don't get a ton of stuff every time. It accumulates. So it's nice to do these monthly collective hauls and you can see what's in Fox Lunch, Hop Topic, Target, Disney Parks, Etsy, just kind of everywhere that I find these things. So if you enjoyed these videos, please give it a thumbs up so I know to keep filming them and I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I want to talk to you about is my Grand Gatherings bundle that I purchased for Beach Club. It was August's collection. She is releasing her Halloween bundle tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern Time and it is focused around the Haunted Mansion. Now, I'm saying this because I don't have my box yet. It ships at the end of the month and I always do a separate video on the unboxings anyway just because I really like to focus on each product in the box, but I wanted to mention it for my collective haul because I did purchase it within the month of August. So, excuse me, as soon as that goes live, I will link that down below. And if you guys are interested in her Halloween box, I will link the information in below as well. Um, but sticking on the Etsy theme, I wanted to showcase my fitness planner. So although my fitness planner is not Disney related in itself, what I purchased for it is Disney related. And that is these stickers from Pretty Sheepy. I got her countdown stickers for the Avengers half, the Walt Disney World 10K, and the Princess Half Marathon. And these are really fun. What I did is I just go to the month tab in my planner. So this is August, you can see. And I put the countdown stickers there. So at a glance, at a month glance, I can see what I've got coming up. So for August, this is kind of a view there. Here's September. That's where I start incorporating the princess half there. But it's just kind of a nice view to look at. And then what I did, let me show you a month where it's here, like this one for example, and November is when I'm running the um, Avengers half. You can see the countdown stickers really come into play with the five, four, three, two, one. And then I use these little banner stickers that I got at Michael's to highlight each race. So that has been really fun for me, a great visual to keep me motivated. And just this in general, I've really been enjoying. If you guys want me to do a video on my fitness planner, what I keep in it, how I track my runs or my workouts or just kind of what I do with this, uh, just let me know in the comments. I have no problem doing that. Um, but I've so, so enjoyed her stickers. And I know if you follow her on Instagram, she does what's called $2 Tuesdays. So she will focus fun, um, like this last week, for example, she did these little Halloween icons, like little pumpkins and little skeletons that are kind of emoji based. So they're happy and angry and all these different emotions that you can use in any way that you want, really. But I think that's so super fun. So as always, I'll link everything below. next thing I want to talk about is the cup hugs. Guys, the obsession is real. I purchased um, summer cup hugs from Be Tangled. I got the Yeti for me and a little starfish for my mom. And I use it all the time. And if you guys have followed me on my Instagram or look at my feed, you'll see me post pictures of them all the time. So I thought that getting some Halloween ones was in order. So I picked up this orange, solid orange with a ghost Mickey for my mom, and then a solid green with a spider Mickey head for me. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. We could both use either or. Um, that's just kind of what I had in my head when I ordered them. So I got her Halloween set, so cute. And then I also got Christmas because even though I am full Halloween mode, 
I know that once Halloween and Thanksgiving are over, I will be in full Christmas mode, so I wanted to be prepared. So I just got the Minnie and Mickey Icon Cup Hugs for Christmas as well. So I am covered on the Cup Hug Holiday front, but I, these are just so fun. And they're so affordable. They range between $8 to $11, depending on... I'm assuming the demand. Obviously, the Halloween ones were more in demand, so these ones were around 11, 10 or 11, I think. Um, but if, if you go on and try to purchase them, maybe some of the summer ones now, maybe those ones might be a little cheaper. Keeping on my theme with drinkware, I wanted to showcase these coffee mugs. My husband picked up the Navi River Journey Pandora mug a while ago. He has been all about Pandora, you guys. Any time that we have opportunities to go to the park, he wants to go to Pandora. He loves the Navi River Journey, Flight of Passage, the Saluti, Can Saluti? Saluti? Canteen, uh, the quick service restaurant that's in there that has the cheeseburger little pods. He just can't get enough of any of all of that. So he got this. And then I got myself the Walt Disney World 2017 mug. I have one from 2015. 2016 and now 2017. I would love to find a 2014 one so then I will have one for every year we've been in Florida but I love that I have been able to get the ones that I do have because it's a great way like I said for me to represent the years I've been in Florida so this one their galaxy print that they did was beautiful it's just the Magic Kingdom castle that's kind of star galaxy embellished and then it says Walt Disney World 2017 on the back. Now I mentioned in my last haul that I have given in to the You Are Here mug collection craze and I didn't show you the cup because it was downstairs in the washer so I figured I'd show you that one plus the two new ones I've received. So I believe the two new ones that I got were Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios and the one that I got in that last video was Animal Kingdom but I could be mixing them up. Either way, I could, did get the Magic Kingdom one. My husband brought this home for me from work one day as a surprise, which was so super exciting. I did get the Hollywood Studios one. Now there's two different designs. This one features Maleficent Dragon, um, and they have another one that has the Earful Tower on it. So when you go there, make sure you kind of look at the two designs and pick the one that you like. I liked the one with the Phantasmic Maleficent Dragon, and then of course Animal Kingdom. I think that this one will probably always be my favorite, my home park. Um, I just love it. And I love that the insides too have the colors that match. So Animal Kingdoms is green, Hollywood Studios is red, and then Magic Kingdoms is blue. I just think that's so fun. And I definitely left the tags on all of these. I need to take those off before I put those in the wash again. <laughs> Um, coming into ears, I did get two new pairs of ears. None of these are park ears, they are from Etsy. I was super, super bummed I missed out on the rose gold ears. I heard they are coming out with another shipment tomorrow, so I'm sending my mom to the parks tomorrow to get me a pair of those. And if I get them, I will feature them in my September video. But this one is from the ear shop. This was opened back up by people who I'm assume I think what it is is people who are fans of the Oh Yeah Disney ears. Oh Yeah Disney has now turned into Oh Yeah Apparel, and they release Emily and Scott release T-shirts, and they kind of ventured out of ears. So I think what happened was people kind of came together and reopened it with their same designs that they had. Uh, but it's all these pinata ones essentially is what I'm getting at, and I just couldn't say no. The Mexican Pavilion is one of my favorites in Epcot, and my husband is Mexican. Our wedding was a Mexican theme. This just always holds such a special place in my heart, so I love them. And then I also got these beautiful things from Maddie Marie Boutique, and they are stunning. They are rainbow, pastel, sequin, gloriousness, um, and they are so full. It's interesting to order from the Etsy shops and see how different the ear makers 
create their ears. I know some people do the styrofoam or the cardboard on the inside. Uh, some people make them really full. Some people make them a little bit thinner. But I think that that's what's just so fun about these and my collection as it's growing is they're all so unique and they're beautiful and I love them. I just can't say good, enough good things about these. So you, I'm sure, will see these in lots of pictures. And my last few things I have are going to be clothing related. So to start off, I did get to this small world dress from the dress shop when it restart, restocked excuse me, about midway through the month. Um, and this one is the small world inspired dress and I love it because it's not as dapper day inspired as some of the other dresses. I can absolutely put a cardigan over this and wear it to work and not feel you know, still feel like teacher appropriate, but not overdressed like I'm going out for Dapper Day. So I really appreciate that about this design. And I just love all of the um, sayings, see you, farewell, goodbye. I probably said all of those wrong, except goodbye. I think I said that one right. <laughs> um, au revoir. Yeah, totally butchering that. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Um, but I just love the dress and I love Small World and again, it's one of my favorite attractions so that was really special to me. I did pick up this workout set from Hot Topic. It is Ariel inspired. So the top is her clam bra and the back is super knotted and multi-strap and really, really fun. So I thought that was really cool and it's comfortable, really soft material. And then the bottoms, of course, are her fin design inspired. And it's got a little emblem on the side that showcases 89, which I'm assuming is when the movie released. But I love these. I got these actually, hopefully, to wear at the Princess Half Marathon. I haven't decided if I'm going as Ariel yet or not, but that's a good option if I do. And the last thing I want to show you guys is this. I love this Disney Off to Sleep We Go collection by Night Night Monkey Monkey that Target does. Um, I picked up these Monsters Inc. little shorts and it comes with the top. The top says, if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. The only bummer with this is that the velveteen or the velvet that they put on the letters did come off. I did wash and wear this already. It didn't come off completely, but it did kind of start to patch off a little bit. So I'm a little bummed about that, but overall I just love this brand. I love the Disney inspired pieces that they bring to the pajamas and there is a really cute R2-D2 and C-3PO set that I want that's a tank top that says you are too cool and has got pants that feature both of them on it but the pants are made for a woman that is size seven feet because they're so long. So I haven't purchased those yet, but I'm still thinking about them. So I probably will go back and get them and just like roll up the waistband <laughs> until they fit me lengthwise. But that is everything that I got for my August Disney Collective video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back with my Beach Club Grand Gatherings unboxing if I can get my hands on the Grim Grinning Ghost Box from the Crafty's Place on Earth bundle, I'll bring that to you as well. Those don't ship though till the end of the month, so that one especially won't be here as far as the video. Um, won't come until late September, early October. And I have a lot of fun food and wine videos planned as well, so please make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. I'm at 362 subscribers and I really wanted to do a giveaway at 350 so since I've passed that I've started curating pieces for my giveaway so expect that video to be coming up as well but in the meantime I will talk to you guys later bye